Hello? Yo, Army. Oh, great. How'd you get in here? Hey, hey, man. You gave me the master key. Army, we, clearly y'all see we are not in the vault. I'm in my boy AJ room right now, Army. And look, y'all see AJ on the sneaker battles on the channel. Y'all have seen AJ multiple times, whether it's been at a sneaker con. But AJ, what do you call this, man? This is like a, a, a shrine, bro. Like, what what do you call your vault, bro? Just call it the, the cave. Man, Army, so we're in AJ's cave. That's what we're going to call this joint, AJ's cave. And okay. I, don't, I don't even know where to start. I don't even know where to start from the Jeff Hamilton jackets we got right here. Got a few hammies. To the OG. OG, 1998. And the beautiful thing about, you know, I, I'm vice president for Jeff Hamilton USA. You know, it's Jessica crazy. Friend. And the fact that he's able to keep the quality, like the jackets he does of this today, yeah, look exactly like the OG. Yeah, nah, bro, that's that joint is clean, yeah, man. You even got the sketch. Jeff. Yeah, so he's also an artist. So with a lot of the very exclusive pieces, he also likes to do a little art piece with them. I absolutely love that. I man, that bro, like, where do where do we even start? Where do we even start at in here, man? Like. Bro, you you got you got pieces over here in the case, man. I guess I guess we start over here. Like, what do we have right here in this case? Yeah, that's a very worn, <laughs> very loved pair of 1985s with a very early about 1986, 1987 Michael Jordan signature. Dang! Now, how did you come and across? How did you come across those, bro? I found that one on eBay. Um, a guy on the north before, side. Before, before, uh, before the last dance oh, or after? I haven't had these very long. These ones I've only had for a few months full PSA DNA authenticated. I brought it to National just to have them look at it again. Yeah. Because this was from 06 and they're like, yeah, everything, you know, everything's still there, checks out. Um, so just a really unique piece because it's not very often you see the early Michael signatures. Yeah, that one, you could tell that's different than what we've seen as far as some of his other signatures too, bro. Yeah, and then if you come over here. Question, Yeah. what was the ticket? Um, Steel. I'll just say that. Really? Steel. Absolutely. Now, steel. Army, I know it had to be a steel. If he don't want to say it, it had to be a steel. Steel. Yeah. Steel. Um, they were not as clean as this two when he had listed them. Mm -hmm. So I knew, like, just with my experience cleaning up shoes, yeah. I was going to give them a little love and make sure that they uh, looked a little bit more presentable. Army, hopefully he used that rejuvenate on them joints, man. He say that ten percent off. Y'all already know promo code is in the description section below. <laughs> but where we at, bro? Where well, I to mean, your point talking about kind of the um, evolution of the Jordan signature. If you come over here, this is more around 09 era Jordan signature that he signed at his golf tournament. We got an Air Jordan. They need to bring these back, bro. I know, the black tongue. We need these back like ASAP. This is my favorite OG Air Jordan 5 of all time. The black tongue, the midsole was just dope on these, man. With the Stitch 23 army, y'all know I'm a sucker for a Stitch 23. And he got them autographed too. Was this another like eBay auction or this crash one? Pickup? This one was a lady um, I ran into that went and got three pairs personally signed mm -hmm. at his golf tournament. And she just luckily offered me one. Let me wow, let bro. Me purchase one. Again, another steal. Uh, again, PSA, DNA, authenticated. So I need to get, see, out. I need to, I need to get on your level as far as like collecting these grail pieces, man, because I feel like this is the best time to grab it while Mike is still here because we That's already right. know, you know, eventually no more signatures are going to be made. And I hear Mike rarely signs things in general. Rarely signs. He's exclusive with Upper Deck now. So the times of being able to take your kid, go to his camp in Santa Barbara, bring an item, have the kids sign it, is pretty much over. So uh, very few and far in between opportunities to get Mike to sign anything. Man, I mean, Speaking I, I, about like Upper Deck exclusivity, this is one of the... Uh, items they did to commemorate his relationship and career in both baseball and basketball. Mm. So these were limited to a thousand, and some he signed in black, some he signed in silver. So that's a upper deck Nike collab. One of my favorite pieces. Bro, how did you get the 85 shop? <laughs> I just noticed that. I'm like, hold on now. Is this the, the 85 shop e eBay joint? Uh, yes. So this was the LED that was in the front window of the eBay 1985 pop-up shop in yeah. Loop, Chicago. 
for those of you that don't know, that was the pop-up they did where they had the entire, all 20 pairs of 1985 mm -hmm. all the colorways. And, you know, I'm, I'm blessed to have some wonderful friends at eBay. And ultimately, they didn't know what to do with all this stuff because it was just for the pop-up. Yeah. And basically, they're like, if you want to pull up tomorrow morning with a U-Haul, take whatever you want. Wow, so, bro. That's from eBay shop. These are from the um, cases too. From the 1985 shop. So dang, yeah, that was a come up, especially on these cases, bro. You might recognize these when you walked in. Yep. The 85 shop. Ah, dang, bro, that's what's up, man. The other side of the 85s was the yeah. cool, like Chicago collection. Yeah. So. I was like a kid in a candy store. Man. I, I bet, just, man. Like, especially, especially these. This was a joint right here where they had the they had the sample pair up in, yeah. the, in this one right here. That's so crazy, if you scan bro. A QR code. I, I doubt it brings it up anymore, but that's what would bring up that auction yep. on uh, eBay. Ah, oh, dang, bro. You looked up. Look at this. Reimagines on deck. Yeah. Reimagine. I was not expecting sneak of the year. Um, I don't know yet. For me personally, I'm I'm going playoff eight. Okay, um, I'm not mad at that though. I I'm not I mad love at it. that. I'm glad that like an OG and that hopefully there's some more respect around the eight. Yeah, there's some respect on the eight name. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm looking forward to that one, but they did a beautiful job on the on the rematch. They they did a phenomenal job on them playoff eights though too, bro. Yeah. Those playoff ace are sick, man. What's up with the Jordan chairs, the, the Bulls chairs that we got right here? So those were um, courtside for all six of the championships. Dang. So I got those from my boy Bergie on the north side years ago. I got the, I paid a hundred bucks a pop. Nah, bro. Back in the day. I approached them at National a few mm -hmm. weeks ago and asked, do you have any more? Because I had a couple buddies that are looking yeah. for them. Yeah, you don't even want to know the ticket on those now. He's he's got some more, but it's it's not a hundred bucks. Dang. Yeah. I mean, like we ain't even got to like, you know, the shoe shoes yet, man. We still looking at just like pieces that we got in here. Like I didn't even, bro. I didn't even know you had these right here. Yeah. Eighty five. Yeah. You want C's? Eighty fives with the uh, with the OG laces. Now these aren't wearable because I've oh, never yeah. seen they. Oh yeah, I rock those. I'm about to say I've never seen you rock. I've seen you wear the Chicago's and the Breads. I've I, worn those probably about five times. Soles extremely flexible on them. Um, the collar is surprisingly not very hard at all. So yeah, it's still very wearable. Every '85 I have is a is tank. Wearable. What you call them, bro? A tank. They don't crumble as long as they were taken care of and that they were stored correctly as yeah. long as the sole's flexible which every single pair i have because i have 10 pairs of 85s every single one flexible good to wear this is the only one i haven't worn because it's a ds that's an 85 that's an 85 bro right hand up to god right now yeah. i thought those was a pair of lost and founds are you serious i swear i was about to say bro why you got a pair of lost and founds in there uh, bro, I thought these were lost and founds. <laughs> I did not know that the uh, and then I'm just like, well, you know, maybe he liked the shoe. Like, why does he Hold have on, them in a? Do why do does it. he have them in a in a case? Army, dead stock Chicago's, 85s. My my other my daily wear lost and founds are in the other room. They're beat as hell right now. I got to clean them up. But let's let's do a little comparison here. Now the only thing is, I know the Lost and Founds do have that that extra the black lace. These only got the white, but still. Yeah. Yo, you could have fooled me, bro. Yeah. Cause I mean, look at that. Look at the ankle. You know, the ankle has it has the wear. Look how even clear right there. The stamping is on it. Yeah. Nah, you went crazy with those, bro. September 11, 1985, manufacture date, and 11 and a half, which is my personal size. I do 11 and a half or 12. Um. I was tempted, I'm not gonna lie, I got those before the last dance. Okay. Like way before the last dance. Yeah. I initially bought them to wear them. How much did you spend on those? 2500 Okay. Yeah, that's probably like, what would you say the price is now? 10 times? A couple, 10 times as a much year, as that. A couple years ago for yeah. like 10K at a show. It's whatever somebody would want to spend because when are you going to see a DS11 in there? Facts, bro. Facts. Yeah. That's crazy, man. That's a grail piece. Yeah. 
that's but that's that's a grill. People ask like, what's the favorite in my collection? Yeah, it's usually it's that. Just because you just won't see it, it's kind of between that and the signed. Just because it's such an early Jordan signature, mm -hmm. but it's hard to beat this for me. Man, bro. Man, I, I mean, what, what what's next? I see these airships right here. These are OG pair. Yes, sir. Eighty four airships. So. If everybody, if you haven't seen like a regular airship, this was actually a natural gray mm -hmm. airship that somebody had painted blue. And I was like, I, I like it. I dig it. Yeah. I like that little touch on there. But yeah, this is a personal. This is one I wear. Um, I mean, bro, look at the tongue of these things. Look at that. Yeah, that's crazy, <laughs> bro. But I love, I love OG stuff. Um, I got... 1983 legends down there 1986 team conventions um i have another like 1986 1987 where are um, these uh these chicago these are 85 too that one's um that's 95 94, 95 and and just for everybody just so you know the reason i say 95 is because technically they were released in 95. So that's an 85 that you just opened. Mm -hmm. 85 right here, 85 there, 85 uh, Bro, you there. even got the Royals? Yeah. AJ, bro, you going crazy army. See, this is why I'm about to start this series. I'm just invading people's sneaker collections, right. yo, because take, if you want to this take anything is, out, feel free. This is crazy, man. Like... Now, to be fair on this one, those are not the OG laces. I okay. I got those from... Um, I believe slicky laces just to kind of give it that touch yeah um I'm, i am looking i would like a pair of royal og laces how much you think of just a pair of royal og laces know. gonna run you bro no clue. no clue army that's um that's a pair i got from my boys over at round two okay when they first opened up in chicago yeah they really blessed me on that pair man that's, that's a pair i wear a lot actually when i ran New into you and, yeah natural natural gray natural gray natural okay gray. Yeah, so, so why do we call them neutral gray now? Uh, is just the name change? I guess. Yeah, but natural gray is the OG name. That's why those are natural gray. These are natural gray. That's what they went with, and they had those in the low too, in '85. Army. That, those are OG laces. Those are the ones I wore. Those are the ones you wore in Dallas. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bruh. Those are the ones I wore in Dallas, and then up there is a dead stock '95 black red. Um, Again, I say 95 because they technically were released in 95. I know mm. a lot of people say 94. Yeah. But the true, like, OGs say 95. So that's... I always, uh, I always, go, I always go back and forth with people on that. Look at the price on the box. Yeah. It's 80 bucks. It's got everything. 85 Nike Air Jordan jackets. Like, these still look like this is 2023. Like, look how clean they still are. From the sleeves to the Nike. Look how clean these are. Look at the, the red one. And AJ still wears these. We got those wings. And we ain't talking about honey barbecue wings, y'all. <laughs> we talking about the Jordan Wing logo on the back and with the t shirt. OG. 85. Nike. Look at the back. Chicago on the, the front. Chicago, black red on the back. Bread on the back. Just like that. One of these joints. Look at that. With those. Boom. Look at that. I should do that. I should just like tie oh, a couple gee. pairs of those together. Just wear it. Bread like that, right? <laughs> That's how he yeah. did with the black toes. When he had the black toes on one on the one in the back, one in the front, like that. Yeah, nah. This go crazy, man. Yeah, army. Just stuff you don't see every day. Especially the clothes, man. Because when I seen the shirt, I'm like, oh, okay, I've I seen this shirt before. I'm thinking it's like something that's new. But this is original. And it's all in good condition. I think that's what really threw me off. The fact that this stuff is still in great condition. Again, OG Nike tags. Here, put it right here. 80 bucks, y'all. Yeah, it's got the... Uh got the paper it's got the card i love this i got this from uh foxtrot all right man i'm spending my money on the wrong stuff man all my money been going to pokemon lately i need to get up some of this og stuff man before it's 
impossible to find, bro. I, 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 uh, facts, but um, smart investment with Pokemon. Oh, 100 percent, bro. I was sending you some gems when I was at National. Yeah, bro. But you seen the price of them Pokemon, bro? bro it's probably one Pokemon card probably worth everything up in this room, bro. I know. Easily. It's asinine. Easily, bro. Like army, y'all be th y'all be laughing. Some of y'all probably be laughing. Like break Pokemon. Like all right. Tell y'all, my Pokemon collection it costs more than my sneaker collection. You know, Some don't believe on, it. I'm big on cards and stuff, too. I, I don't have hardly... I have another room that's memorabilia. Yeah. But, you know, a few things down here, like the Jordan rookie. Um, yep, I've seen that, bro. And it's a PS... Bro, even in a six, a six, it's still up there in price, bro. I think they undergraded it. I did talk to somebody else. Mm -hmm. They think now it potentially could get a seven, maybe even an eight. This is an old grade, too, bro. It yeah. don't even have a scan on the back. Yeah, so I'm thinking about... He told me that I can have it regraded if I want. Yeah. He just told me just... I'd know, be under, scared, yeah. Understand, yeah. like, they could randomly decide to go lower. Lower, yep. Even though he thinks it's possibly a seven, even an eight. Yeah, I, um, man. This one I was a little bummed about. It's a 1933 Gaudi Babe Ruth. I thought you'd appreciate it. Dang. That. And beautiful condition. On that one corner, though, they couldn't yeah. tell if it just naturally rounded mm -hmm. or if it was Somebody clipped. cut, yeah. So that's why they put it altered. Wow. But beautiful card. Beautiful card. Bruh. And you got the sign Kobe ball over here, too. Yeah. Kobe fans would definitely appreciate that. R.I.P. Kobe. Man. Thanks. But, yeah, this was commemorating the finals against the 76ers. And this one is um, also PSA. DNA mm. it. You can tell that's the that's the OG yeah. sticker. But official game ball signed by Kobe. Another early Boy, Kobe that's a young figure. Kobe, that's, bro. That's, a, that's an early one. That's young Kobe. Yeah. And bro, I mean, you know, I while I was always I respect Kobe. I was never like a huge Kobe fan. Yeah, same. But I'm also one of those guys where I appreciate greatness. Yep. Like I want a piece of greatness in my collection, and he's um he's the closest thing we've seen. Facts. To Mike. No, nah, that's that's a big fact, bro. Yeah. That's a big fact. It's just like you didn't like again for me. Like I didn't grow up idolizing him like I did Mike, but you gotta respect what the man did. Hundred percent. You know, and I mean, you know, definitely, definitely left too soon. You know, um, and, and, and I've gotten some amazing stories with him because, you know, God, Sham God, um, you know, who invented the Sham God crossover, legend out of New York. He's a friend of mine. And I had um, actually had lunch with him in Dallas, him and his dad, and just hearing the stories from him about him working with Kobe, mm -hmm. and helping Kobe even with handles, and then Kobe respecting him enough yeah. to say, I want you to train my daughters. That's crazy. And coming to his daughter's camps and, like, the dude wanted greatness not just for himself but his family as well. Man, so. uh, that's dope, bro. So Army, we gon' I'm gonna have to chop this up into a two part series because I wanna focus on more like the OGs, but then I also see you got of course like some PEs, you got PEs. some bangers up in here too. So man, I mean we've seen the OGs. Is there anything else OG or like like even like these OG Jordan uh like not necessarily the posters, but the the cutouts, yeah. man. Like yeah. that's that's old, Mike. Like look at the Mike even have the goatee on this joint, bro. What shoes he yeah, rocking? He's wearing the fire red fours. Fire red fours. Okay, yeah. so this eighty nine and eighty nine yeah. or ninety. So I, um, th this is the this was the must. I mean, especially me, like you know, guys like us growing up in Chicago, yeah. watching the Home Alone movie. Facts. This being in the Home Alone movie on the train. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, like this this was a must for me. Yeah. And then I actually was blessed to find one of my good buddies over a counterfeit on the south side of Chicago. Uh, found one of the movie like pop ups for Space Jam. I'm like, yeah. I, I need to have it. So I got I got some of the um, with some the of jam, the retro jam there, yeah. jams there. But then I also keep the uh, some more. So okay, oh, well, yeah. you know, a little yeah, yeah, a little yeah. something like a little something. I went probably... to college in Oklahoma, so like Oklahoma PEs are my. My favorite, but then I got the I got the OG guys in here too. Look at the box, man. Yeah. Army, y'all seen the video I posted the other day, bro? If it ain't that yeah. box, you just know you got some bangers in there with that box right there, yeah. Army. Y'all already know. Yeah, a lot of people see these. I've seen a couple people pop up with these a little bit more lately. But mm. Have you seen it with the headband? Nah, bro. But you know the Olympic Sevens is my favorite, bro. Look at these. Two thousand four. 
how clean these are. Yeah. But with the with headband. The headband, retro card. Now, AJ doing it crazy, man. These, I love these. AJ, yeah, them, them my favorites, bro. Those, those are hands down my favorites. So, we pretty much seeing all of the OG. I'm still tripping out this OG Jeff Hamilton, too, over here, bro. Yeah. I'm still tripping on this one. That go crazy. So, yeah, this is... Uh... This is an OG, 1998. It's an XL, a little, little bit big for me, but definitely blessed that- <laughs> I'm an XL. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm blessed that uh, Jeff's making one for me right now. Yeah. It's actually in my size, but I mean, come on. Just look at the quality of this, the elements, the stuff he was doing back in 98, next level. It has the OG 98 patch in there, sign. And there's a really cool video too of Mike coming off the floor, going into the locker room. Yeah. And you see Jeff handing up. That's crazy, the bro. So this is it's it's gonna be dope having the new next to the, Facts. the OG. It has the OG plaque in there too. It's a limited edition jacket designed by Jeff Hamilton with his signature. How much were those going back in the nineties? Um actually it's a good question. Probably a couple G's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Probably a couple G's. Jeff been in the game killing it that long, huh, bro? Yep. And there's a really cool video of Jeff after the 98, um, after they won, where he's like handing it over to Michael. So again, for those who don't know, Jeff Hamilton is a guy who had the Kobe. Everybody loved the Kobe picture with him hugging the trophy. And that jacket he was wearing was a Jeff Hamilton jacket. So we know, you know, as far as the Bulls stuff, there we go right there. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the picture I was talking about. And what a lot of people don't know, too, is in a couple angles of these photos, um, you can actually, Jeff's in the reflection of the trophy. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Yeah. Army, man. A a AJ, like, I, I don't even, I'm, I'm called an Army name, AJ name, Army, like, I'm speechless to see so much, like, OG classic heat up in here. Nine, like, again, Army, y'all know I'm a 90s baby, so anything from, like, the 90s, like, that's, that's my forte right there, man. Nah, so bro. it comes in. Hey, you, you, you blessed with like all of the stuff that you got, bro. The connects that you've been able to make, man. It's just like it's been all organic. It's just so. adding more pieces to the puzzle, bro. All you know, organic. you know, you, you treat people with respect and like they see a true appreciation of something. And yeah, they tend to reciprocate. So. One thing, one thing that I do gotta say, I love and respect about you, bro, mm -hmm. is just your way to navigate in conversations and be able to make the relationships that you have made from the time that you jumped on a live on YouTube to where you are right now, bro. It's just like, you're not even a influencer, you know, out here in these streets, man, but you get, you catalog, get yeah. so much respect from the army, so much respect from just sneaker heads and, and, and people out here in the sneaker community, bro. It's just like, but once you dig in deep and actually see the man behind the Instagram page, like I said, Army, I, I never knew AJ yeah. had all this fire, y'all. I never knew that he had all this fire, man. But well, again, that. bro, like, man, love and respect everything that you got going on, bro, because you definitely yeah. got some heat and some grills up in here. But if it was any piece up in here, AJ, that you will never give away, like I know when it comes to certain collections, man, like for me, it's certain things that don't have a price tag on it. Yeah. But like, what's that one piece in here that you could be like, man? Look, y'all could take it all, just don't take this. And what would that be? I think I think I may know what it is, but I could be wrong. So I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you go first. Man, that's tough. I think I think I gotta. I think I gotta go with the. Um, I was thinking one or two. Probably probably the the DS eleven. The DS. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, nah. Them I just, sick, you bro. just never gonna see it again. It's definitely between that and the and the sign. And the sign pair. Yeah. Now this is not the pair from the eBay shop, right? No. Okay. No. Yeah, because you said you got these from uh I somebody from a steel. Gentleman on the north side, yeah. Yeah. What yeah. size is that? Eight and a half. And it, you know, so sneaker college Chicago, <laughs> I was like, I wanted to throw a couple people off. So I brought them just to show some people, and mm -hmm. I put it in a lost and found uh, grade school box. Really? So like Don C. Yeah. He's coming around, I'm like Don, I got something I gotta show you. And he's like, Oh sweet, a pair of lost and founds. <laughs> I'm telling and you, I, bro. And then I, I thought it. those were. Well, no, he just saw the box. Oh, I saw the box. Okay. So then I opened the box. He's like, Oh no, you snapped. You know? Yeah, bro. Like, so I was throwing people off with the box on those, but um, you know, I wanted to keep them low key, having them at uh. 
having them at sneaker con so army man Y'all have seen AJ on the channel numerous times, but I want to go around <laughs> invading yeah. people's dope collection because I just feel like it's so many low-key people out here that just got some bomb collections. Like, I got a list of people that I do plan on invading those collections, Army, but I had to stop in Chicago first. Had to stop over here at my boy AJ Crib Army so y'all can just see some of these pieces. Like, again, my man's got 85s, like countless countless 85s army but y'all comment down below and let me know what was your favorite sneaker that we have seen um we got to do a part two we'll, because we'll spend some more time There's we, some... we gonna we're gonna we're gonna spend some more time in part two but i need y'all to run that like button up make sure y'all subscribe make sure y'all do all that stuff show me that y'all rocking with this new series that i'm about to bring to the channel army because hint hint in the next video I'm going home with something. Yeah. I'm, go I'm going home with something, y'all. Hey, y'all, we've seen it. Y'all know if it's on this side. Y'all, uh-oh. Bruh. Remember that thing? Is that the phone? Yeah. Oh, nah, you snap with that, bro. <laughs> you snap. Hey, look. Look at that, yo. Hey, Army, that's a great way to end the video off, bro. What, what, what's to this? So that's a photo of the last shot. And it has a piece of the That's floor. That's a piece of the floor? Yo. So what a lot of people don't know, too, when you look at the wide angle of that shot, yeah. 98, Jeff uh, Hamilton's actually in the photo. He's over on the side in a blue shirt with his hands like this. So that's he's been a part of a lot of... A lot of classic, iconic, iconic, iconic moments. moments. Yeah. Army, hey. AJ, take us home, bro. Take us home, hey. man. I am looking forward to part two, diving in deeper, and a lot of you even might be shocked by one of my favorite all-time Jordans, so um, look forward to keeping it going. All right, Army, you got your boy Unbreakable. We ain't in Unbreakable Vote. We in AJ Man Cave, Army. Hey, I'll see y'all for part two. Hey, let's get it. I hit Unbreakable for the uses. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's old stuff, but he get a music. He was old, him first season. The most beefy, looking like two laps. Two laps, cause your ass taking nail. 